Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Orbit. Beyond the blue. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku just shared a shocking discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA's multi-billion dollar telescope has just spotted six gigantic galaxies, each roughly the size of our own Milky Way. A group of galaxies from the dawn of the universe that are so massive, they shouldn't exist. The six gargantuan galaxies, which contain almost as many stars as the Milky Way despite forming only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, have been dubbed universe breakers by the team of astronomers that spotted them. That's because, if they are real, the discovery calls our entire understanding of galaxy formation into question. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. It is not expected that the early universe will be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies theoretically should not have had time to form. While scientists don't know exactly when the first clumps of stars began to merge into the beginnings of the galaxies we see today, cosmologists have previously estimated that the process began slowly taking shape within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Currently accepted theories suggest that one to two billion years into the universe life, these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence, forming into dwarf galaxies that began devouring each other to grow into ones like our own Milky Way galaxy. Because light travels at a fixed speed through the vacuum of space, the deeper we look into the universe, the more remote light we are able to intercept, and the further back in time we see. By using the James Webb Space Telescope to peer roughly 13.5 billion years into the past, the astronomers found that enormous galaxies had already burst into life very quickly after the Big Bang, when the universe was just 3% of its current age. This forces us to rethink everything we know. The galaxies are so massive that they are in tension with 99% of the models for cosmology. This means that either the models will need to be altered, or scientific understanding of galaxy formation requires a fundamental rethink. Either way, it is a shocking discovery by James Webb yet again. The Milky Way forms about one to two new stars every year. These galaxies would have to be forming hundreds of new stars a year for the entire history of the universe. If even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. Right now, all evidence points to these celestial objects being galaxies, but astronomers haven't ruled out that some of them could be enormous quasars or supermassive black holes. Regardless of that, the amount of mass discovered means that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to 100 times greater than was previously thought to exist. Even if these sample sizes halved, this is still an astounding change. Previous imaging of the early universe by the Hubble Space Telescope didn't detect the giant galaxies, but JWST is about 100 times more powerful than Hubble. The Space Observatory was designed to read the earliest chapters of the universe history in its faintest glimmers of light, and has been delivering on its promise ever since its launch. This is not the first time James Webb has forced us to rethink our understanding of the cosmos. Only last year, it made a groundbreaking discovery that questioned the Big Bang Theory itself. Remember the famous opening theme of the hit show The Big Bang Theory? Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state, when nearly 14 billion years ago, expansion started. And that's how probably a lot of people, 
were introduced to the Big Bang hypothesis, that our universe started from a hot soup and was born with a massive bang. The universally accepted idea proposed in 1927, states that our universe took birth from a single point. A single point, which inflated and stretched, over the next 13.8 billion years, to become the ever-expanding cosmos that we know today. In 1996, astronomers, scientists, and engineers around the world, set out to create a next-generation telescope, with a $1 billion budget. A piece of space equipment unlike any seen before. One that would be a successor to the Hubble. 25 years, $12 billion, countless delays and setbacks later, we got the James Webb Space Telescope. A high-stakes, complex space hardware that would rewrite our understanding of the universe, and in turn, our cosmic origins. Our history in the cosmos. We had essentially set out to build a giant time machine. Not exactly one that would let us physically travel back in time, but one that would show us glimpses of the universe from its nascent stage. But looking so far back into the universe, there's bound to be surprises, and not all are pleasant. Some, are shocking. And the biggest shocker of all times has just been dropped by the James Webb Telescope. And it is driving panic through the hearts of astronomers, cosmologists, and common folk like you and me. With every new discovery, James Webb has been finding loopholes in our understanding of the universe. James Webb's latest discovery takes the cake. It's the mother of all shocking discoveries. One that is making cosmologists and astronomers question everything they've ever known about our universe. James Webb's recent discoveries of some of the earliest galaxies might just disprove the Big Bang. There have always been doubts regarding the standard cosmological model. But, this revelation has left everyone shook. Now, science is all about questioning things. But watching such a focal event in the cosmos get questioned, is terrifying to say the least. If the Big Bang didn't happen, then how did we come into being? How did all of these galaxies, nebulae, stars, planets come into existence? Who is stretching the fabric of the universe? Are we living in a simulation created by advanced alien beings? Or, are the engineers of our universe something beyond our comprehension altogether? I'm sorry to take off on this tangent. I don't know about you, but this new discovery has certainly filled me with a constant subtle dread, and led me to question reality as we know it. So, let's take a moment to collect ourselves and circle back. The Big Bang never happened. How is Webb proving that? Case 1. The very first results from the James Webb Space Telescope, seem to indicate ancient, massive, luminous galaxies, that had already formed within the first 250 million years after the Big Bang. One such galaxy, known as Sears 93316, existed just 235 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy is so remote that their light took some 13.5 billion years to reach us. Many other such galaxies appear to be more massive than the standard cosmological model, that describes the universe's composition and evolution. What's worrying is to find smooth and old galaxies, in such a short time since the Big Bang should have occurred. 250 million years since the Big Bang wouldn't have been enough for them to fully form into the galaxies we see today. Which means they had to have started forming before the Big Bang. But the Big Bang is the origin of everything in our universe. Hence the question, did the Big Bang even happen? Case 2. Even galaxies with greater luminosity and mass than our own Milky Way galaxy, appear in these images to be two to three times smaller, than in similar images observed with the Hubble, and the new galaxies have redshifts, which are also two to three times greater. To drive the point home, in any expanding universe, the optical illusion makes objects at high redshift appear larger and dimmer, so their surface brightness, 
the ratio of apparent brightness to apparent area, declines sharply with redshift. But based on observations of thousands of galaxies, surface brightness is completely constant with distance, as expected in a universe, that is not expanding. Also, after observations showed, that the surface brightness dimming, did not occur. This is not at all what is expected with an expanding universe. According to Big Bang Theory, the most distant galaxies in the JWST images are seen as they were only 400 to 500 million years after the origin of the universe. Yet, already some of the galaxies have shown stellar populations, that are over a billion years old. Since nothing could have originated before the Big Bang, the existence of these galaxies shows that the Big Bang did not occur at all. Case 3 Big Bang theorists counter this by hypothesizing that galaxies were much smaller in the distant past and have grown greatly. Hence the surface brightness. But observations have contradicted this fix as well, showing that there have not been enough galaxy mergers for the growth rates needed. In addition, the ultra-small galaxies hypothesized would have to have more mass in stars, than total mass, an obvious impossibility. Despite this, and several arguments, let's just assume that the Big Bang did happen, and as such, there must be no galaxies older than the Big Bang itself. This means that as Webb looks further in space and back in time, there would be fewer galaxies, and eventually, none. But a recent paper which is yet to be published in Nature, demonstrates that galaxies as massive as the Milky Way, are common even a few hundred million years after the hypothesized bang. The authors state that the new images of Webb, show that there are at least 100,000 times as many galaxies as theorists predicted, at redshift more than 10. There is no way that so many large galaxies can be generated in so little time. So again, no Big Bang. But why is this news not getting as much attention or traction as say the latest image of Jupiter? Why are major news outlets not reporting the collapse of the Big Bang hypothesis? Unfortunately, funding for cosmology comes from a very few government sources, controlled by a handful of committees that are dominated by Big Bang theorists. These theorists have spent their lives building the Big Bang theory. Those who openly question the theory, simply don't get funded. But truth always finds its way. And as Webb continues to produce more images of the ancient universe, it is only a matter of time, before we start focusing on an actual origin story of the universe, rather than a convenient one that we've been fed for decades, but what do I know? Orbit. Beyond the Blue.